Ma'am, I will have you arrested if you don't get off this damn property now. Orlando's been referred to as the battleground of the battleground states. Is the McCain campaign doing anything different oh, here than it's doing in other uh, swing uh, states? No, I think the basics of, of what you do in politics are essentially the same. You, you, you've got to get your voters out to the polls. You have to make them enthusiastic. And by far the best way to do that is with volunteer staff. And we have an enormous number of volunteers. Um, there are a few things that you can do. That you can send, pay people out to retrieve ballots, those kinds of things. But when it comes to talking to voters, when it comes to encouraging them to vote, when it comes to dealing with people who are undecided, there is no substitute for volunteer. Paid staff, professionals don't work. So there's a limit to how much you can... And you can't bring, you can't really bring outsiders in. It has to be members of the own, their own community. It has to be their neighbors, people who live in the county, people who say, hey, I live over in such and such a neighborhood. You know, I want to talk to you about this. But we have better resources than probably we do in other parts of the world, in other parts of the country. We get a little bit more money to buy food for volunteers, to buy materials to hand out, those kinds of things. But at the end of the day, we still have to turn out volunteers because it's volunteers that are critical to this effort. And by the way, I think it's why we're ultimately going to catch and trump the Democrats because a very large percentage of the people that Acorn, for example, has put on the street are paid volunteers. If you look at the organizational structure of the Democratic Party in Orange County, they have something like a third the membership that we have. Uh, so a very, very heavy percentage of the people they have on the street are being paid. That's not the case with us. And the folks next door who are volunteering, are they being paid? Some people. The, we have a very limited um, paid walking program whose purpose is to retrieve absentee ballots. That's it. They're not, they're not talking to independents. They're not trying to convert Democrats. They're not trying to uh, deal with undecided voters. They're specifically targeted at voters that we already know have indicated they're voting for McCain and have requested absentee ballots or may want to request absentee ballots. So that's the kind of thing that's sort of functional in nature. We're not having to persuade anybody. We're not having to encourage them. We're just physically going and retrieving ballots and requests. Hey, do you volunteer for the McCain campaign? Yeah. Are you paid? Yeah. We visit the house, depend on the map, the information they give us, and uh, we ask uh, small questions to the owner about uh, if they like a vote with the McCain and Paley campaign. And if they say yes, if we continue the, the question, they said no, we leave. We're going out and trying to encourage people to get out and vote and giving them an opportunity to go ahead and register as absentee uh, voters. Are you paid? Yes, I am with a temp agency. I need a deduction on how much you would like to deduct. Uh, is it a one, a zero? I need you to date that. Okay. If you, need a, if you want to get paid, no. yes, you can still start, but I need it by Saturday. Okay. So the cane campaign? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, no. Would you be willing to tell me what you do for them? I, um, I guess I can be considered a pollster or something, or a poller. So I go and, um, give the uh, voters the option to uh, receive the ballots uh, through the mail so they can vote in case they cannot make it physically to the polling place and uh, that's pretty much it. Are you paid? Yes. <laughs> hey, do you guys volunteer for the McCain campaign? Uh, yes, ma'am. And um, can you tell me what you do? Uh, we actually just go door to door uh, asking people if they would like to vote by absentee ballot. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is my second one. How'd you hear about it? Um, just from the paper. You know, sign up there and uh, accept the volunteers, uh, you know, students and you know, whoever would like to volunteer. Hey, you Are you paid? Give an interview to the camera. You can't be recording that. Are you paid? Ma'am, you I, have to leave. I spoke with Lou and he and he told me that I... Ma'am, I, I will have you arrested if you don't get off this damn property now. Excuse me, excuse me. Take your hand off my property. Ma'am, you're about two seconds from going to jail. I promise you right now. What have I done? You cannot be interviewing these people. Why is that? Because they have signed confidentiality agreements. If you don't get off this property, I'll have you arrested. This is my program I'm running. I don't want you here. I don't want you interviewing people, plain and simple. And why is that? Because they have all signed confidentiality agreements. I wasn't aware they, of this. Who you work for? I work for the Center for Media and Democracy. I have never heard of them. And I work for the uptake. I have no idea who the hell they are. Okay. So do me a favor. 
leave or I'll have you arrested. Okay, you can go ahead and start that process. Not a problem. Don't video another person on this damn property. Plain and simple. I, I've already, we've asked you not to be in there. We've asked you not you, to be in there. You have not asked me to not be You've in there. You've been told by Jonathan. I can tell you right I now. I don't know who Jonathan is. He's the guy with the red shirt. Yeah, can I have a, uh, a PD officer out to uh, 324, I'm sorry, 234 South Cimarron Boulevard? Hi, hi, hi. Please help over yep. here, please. It's the Republican Party of uh, Florida. I'm, um, I'm actually unfinished here, but I don't think that this is necessary. I've asked you not to video my people. You have not? Yeah. Three times. Jonathan, I've, I've Wrong. not been asked to leave once. Okay. And I had a great conversation okay. with if, Lewis. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to if you uh, want to take anything on this side of things, you know, feel free. But I guess if we can just ask you to stay out of the paid walker side of things, that would be sure, okay. that's fine. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. No, um, no one had asked me that, okay. and um, I wasn't aware that they signed a confidentiality agreement. I had no idea. And when I asked you to stop video him, all you had to do was stop for three seconds and let me talk. Rob, to you. It's okay. I got it. Okay. I got it. Let's get get these people out walking. Okay. All right. I, I mean, I know I've said it three times. Right there. We need some sign. The people Here, sign. Can sign. We all run stop sure. sign. We're getting them. We're getting them right now. Okay. Yep. Sorry. Dude, what's that all about? Well, we. I mean, clearly we have you know issues with you know people who are here you know that are emotional and that are you know we've been working a lot of hours and working really hard to get votes out and you know of course we also have you know situations where. We have people from the Obama camp. We have people from different campaigns that are coming over, and you know, I'm sure they want to know what's going on here and what they're doing. So I apologize that. So I apologize that. That, uh, but I do know that those people have all, you know, done, you know, confidentiality agreements and haven't signed any kind of releases or anything like that. Why do so. they sign confidentiality agreements? Because they're employees, just as you know. Yeah, if there are any of the employees over there. So I've got to get back to work, but yeah. thank you. Could I get one of your cards as thank well? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, have a great thank day. Thank you. I appreciate it.